Alright folks, Pitching Ace Idiot, and we are back playing Plants for Zombies 2. It's about time. Pirate Seas. Going on to day number 7. We just picked up the, the spike weed, which I am thrilled about. Alright, so again, you have seagulls. Seagulls require the kernel put. Um, always now have the spike weed in yours. Uh, it is one of those things that I'm probably going to be doing almost every single time. Um, now at this point you can figure out, hey, what, what do I want to do? Um, you also have the barrel zombie, so you definitely need the spike weed. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to put the snapdragon be just because he does um, damage in more than just one lane. So as you start, as always, you're going to want to make sure that you put that twin sunflower to use. Um, as you've been able to see, uh, that twin sunflower does an amazing job of uh, just giving you sun throughout the whole level. Now, as always, that zombie, you can put down a potato mine, but you don't really want to do that yet because you want to make sure that you put that sun that twin sunflower. Um, simple fact that the twin sunflower, once you place it down, it takes about five seconds for it to come back up, and you want to be able to plant those twin sunflowers as quickly as possible. Um, now, you only have two places where water can go, uh, which is a good thing because um, it really means that, you know, you can, only, you can put kernel puts there, but they're not going to be a huge priority. Uh, we're gonna put this guy here just do a little bit more um, We're gonna have plenty of twin sunflowers, so because of that We can start putting our kernel puts down Also start putting down some of our spike weeds Just because they do damage they do damage over time they do damage all the time um, It's pretty nice do them in every single lane Great thing about the kernel puts too is if you put the kernel puts down, it'll sometimes stop the zombies on that spike weed, which is really cool. So it basically will continue to do damage. Beginning right here is going to be probably a little bit uh, tedious and a little bit uh, maybe slightly problematic uh, just because you have so much stuff coming at once. Put a kernel put here just to give us self some time also to take care of those uh, pesky birds. Also going to put some of these snapdragons just to do some more damage to these guys. Again, use this to take care of all the seagulls. Seagulls are problems. Seagulls are not fun. Uh, but now that we have the snapdragons and we've basically done this, we should be having no problem. Um, just continually be planting the snapdragons. Um, and also... We'll put some of these here too. Take these down to take care of the birds. The birds are always going to be problems. So, conti continually basically just allow for spike weeds to take these guys out huge wave of zombies is approaching fantastic we now have all of our snapdragons in place they should be taking these guys out pretty frequently um, always be careful of those pesky pesky barrels they can be very unfun <laughs> And use the spike weeds to your advantage. Like right now, those guys are going to be very problematic for us. So we just decided to do that. Pretty quick, uh, pretty quick day. Didn't take too long. Bring brain treasure. Look out, it's a map. It's a treasure, it says no zombies. Well, maps don't lie. Well, we do have a shovel. Well, let's go, no time for precautions. That's gonna lead us to kind of the middle area. 